So this is the DIY electric motor project. Uh, let's give it a whirl so you can see what it looks like. So this is another version of it right here. It's, well, roughly the same. I've made a few tweaks. I'm going to show you how it's assembled. So we basically just slide the pieces together like that and like like this. And some glue on there and then this little guy, I'm going to just put him right at the end like so. So that's uh, pretty well ready to wind. So here's the platform. We basically have these little uprights here. And then there's these little braces. So I want to glue the uprights to the braces and then put them in place. So glue on a brace. So I'll just put some glue around here. Right there. So there it all is, standing up nice and straight. Spool here of wire. And then I'm putting the wire through the little hole right there, sort of like threading a needle. See, so that's the first step. Wire through the hole. It's very hard to see, sorry. Now, uh, I just need to start winding now around the commutator. So I'm basically winding around these little hooks on here. I'll wind it about four or five times right on there and then over to the other side of the same commutator and wind that again a few times so we're ready to start winding the uh, armature or the, the magnets on the armature four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, three hundred turns. So that coil now has three hundred turns on it. So I'm just going to continue winding the same direction and switching to the other coil on the other side. So that's one, two, three. Now, so that's three hundred turns. So I wound this side of the commutator. So I need to try to end and then go to the other commutator over here and then wind that a few times. Five there. So that commutator is wound uh, about five times on each pole, or I should say side. So I'm just breaking the wire off. That's um, 36 gauge wire, which is five thousandths of an inch. It's pretty fine. Then I'm now feeding it through the, the last hole there. So the two pieces of wire now are coming out of these two holes that wind the motor. So I'm going to put it on a shaft now. now. The holes are cut so that it just threads onto the 632 shaft nicely. Let's have a sip of wine. This motor glows good with uh, red wine. So there, the shaft is in the armature now. So uh, there's this circle guy here which screws on the commutator. So when this circle screws down onto the commutator to lock it, so it locks it onto the shaft so it won't uh, spin on the shaft, but it also locks the wire on there. So now that that's screwed on there, I'm just going to get rid of the extra wire. So let's see, I guess I'll cut that off there. Now, <clears throat> the way the uh, brushes will make contact here is, be is that I'm going to scrape the enamel off the copper wire there so that piece is uh, ready to to run so and snap right on there like that and now, now I'm going to put the uh, magnets on it I'll just simply take the magnets put them in place and then this magnet wants to stick right here it wants to so that means this is the right alignment so you bring it over in that alignment put the other one in and we now have magnets. So I'm going to lift the armature off here and we're going to make the brushes. First thing is I want to clean the enamel off about two inches of the wire here. So I'm going to just using a blade there. And once you think you got all the enamel off and you see all the copper, then we're ready to try to make a brush. Now this is I'm going to try to wind this thing around this pencil. 
to make the spring facing the other direction. So the spring is going to be like this. There. So I have now have my little spring. But So then I bend it down like that. See, so when I set this down here. So when this is set down, it's going to stick straight up pretty well. You see that again? Right about there. The glue is going to go here in an L shape. And we set that in the glue. So let's turn this around and bring it back. And I can glue it down. So I'll cut this off. A little bit more glue right here. Try that. Put down some glue, hot glue, right there. So the two brushes are just basically pointing straight up, starting at the, the two points on the bottom of the platform that have the little holes. It's hard to see on the camera. Okay, now I'm going to unsolder the connectors on the other motor and just transfer them over. There, yeah, so I just stole the power. It's going to heat, heat that area up. Stick that on there. And then this one, so heat that up. So I'm just going to sort of st stick it between the, the brushes at the bottom and then lift it out so that the brushes can be kind of put around the commutator. Then we snap the motor down. So, okay. New batteries, commutators in place, push the battery in, give the motor a little push, and off it goes. So now it's just a matter of adjusting the brushes.